is one more reason all of us who can should step up to get the COVID-19 vaccine. It might help protect those who are too frail or sick to get it. Medical reporter Liz Bonus on whether even mild side effects are potentially lethal for some people. It is a question that has come up repeatedly as more and more people here and around the world have been given the COVID-19 vaccine. How many people have died from the vaccine? And since it's been out in general distribution, no, no, no deaths that have been reported related to the vaccine. That doesn't mean, however, nobody has died since getting the vaccine. For example, doctors in Norway are now investigating the deaths of 23 elderly patients who were given the Pfizer vaccine. So apparently those uh, occurred in very, very old, frail, uh, terminally ill people. And, and it may be that the number of deaths is not outside the norm for what you would expect to occur anyway. Even so, the Norwegian Institute of Public Health recently updated guidance saying those who are frail and terminally ill should be evaluated individually to see if even mild side effects such as fever or nausea might be more dangerous to them than getting COVID-19. I, I think the issue is, uh, you know, when you, when you use a vaccine in a population yes. with a, yeah. an expected high risk of passing away because of their underlying disease, some of those people will pass away. That means the rest of us need to do what Kathy Kappa has done. So this is my second dose. Step up and get the vaccine to protect those who maybe can't or should not. It's a protection for me, but it's also for protection for those that I love and for strangers. Now that's the reason, of course, when you look at vaccine risks, you're also asked to look at its benefit. I'm medical reporter Liz Bonus. Now back to you. The Pfizer vaccine was studied in the el elderly, but most were ambulatory, meaning they could get up and walk and not extremely frail or terminally ill. From 